I cannot believe you slept with Nadira. You were supposed to be playing my devoted fiance. Rape's dying. So I'm going to marry him, and then when he's gone, I will have his inheritance, and I'm going to try and rebuild my relationship with Ethan. We've finally got Sienna exactly where we want her. Ready for your counselling session today? Yeah, it's going to be a good one. I am taking my life back. This isn't what we agreed. Oh, we have you getting anything. I've almost ruined our plan. so good. Isn't it gorgeous? It was his mother's. Mm. Uh, wow, congrats. Uh, does it not bother you that that ring was on another woman's finger five seconds ago? No, it never really belonged there. <laughs> oh. oh, bye. Yeah. Ethan, 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 wait. I need to talk to you. Right, I've ignored your calls, I've ignored your texts. I don't want to talk to you. Please just let me explain. Explain what? You made the wrong choice, end of. <sighs> We should go on a date. Does this not count? I don't know, like something romantic. Something official. Right, and what are you gonna do? Cook me dinner? Buy me flowers? What's so bad about that? It'd be nice to do something that's just us. Yeah, probably right. I've got him online counselling today. I don't know how I'm gonna do that with a full house. Well, you can do that from anywhere. You can do it at mine. Everyone's out today. We don't have to watch that. Yeah, we do. Everything you have been told about Rain Royce's murder is a lie. I have an exclusive source that told me that the time of death could be, in fact, wrong. Plus, if you check the last photos of Rain, you'll see there's a shadow in the background which shows the position of the sun. That means all of the alibis no longer hold up. There's a link to the photos in the comment section. Go see for yourself. Hey, murderer, you better turn yourself in, because we're going to find you. Yes. You all right? Yeah, can we just get out of here? Yeah. I'm not about to be taken in by the littlest con man. I'm not lying. I can't go to school. I feel ill. Just tell the truth and I might let you up. What would even be the point? Someone like you couldn't even find the truth even if it climbed up your own. Oh, well, what's all this arguing about? It's Lucas. He don't want to go to school. He says he feels ill. What, why? It's your first day back at footy practice. Yeah, well, he's clearly up to something. He was fine a minute ago when he was mind-sweeping croissants. I don't know what it is. It just came on so suddenly and my head's spinning. I just feel like I'm about to puke. Yeah, well, go on, then. I want to test the limits of your acting capabilities. James, if he says he's sick, he's sick. I am! Why is it any of your business, anyway? Always sticking your snobby beak where it doesn't belong. And you can shut your mouth. Go, get to bed. I'll bring you in some hot water in London. You're too soft on him. Don't! Do not start this again. Are we pleased to know I'm leaving? Do whatever you want. Clearly you always do. I didn't want to leave without saying sorry. You didn't deserve that. You insulted me after I protected you. Did you ever care about me or rave at all? Or we always some big joke to you? Believe me. You are no joke. But on the other hand, the Harcourts, they are a strange family. You've known them your entire life, right? Doesn't make them any less strange. Watch your back around them. 
That's what I'm saying. Is there something I need to know? You know us landed gentry? We're really good at hiding secrets. Look, I'm, I'm sorry too. I shouldn't have been so impulsive. I knew you were engaged. I don't love Rafe. But he does owe me. And I will collect. Mark my words. Till next time. Tra love. Plus, if you check the last photos of rain, you'll see there's a shadow in the background which shows the position of the sun. That means all of the alibis no longer hold up. There's a link to the photos in the comment section. Go see for yourself. Hey, murderer, you better turn yourself in because we're going to find you. Don't worry. No one's going to be home for ages. I'll be just out there if you need me. Thanks. Perry? Hi, yeah, I'm, I'm here. It's nice to see you again. Are you ready? So, since our last chat, how have you been feeling? Better, I think. I decided this morning I'm gonna take my life back. And me and Romeo have also decided to give things go, officially. You sound a bit concerned about that. No. I just want to focus on the future. I'm trying to not let the past hold me back, but uh, obviously it's delicate. Is there something that's holding you back? We've been through so much together, but it's only made us closer. Obviously, people are going to have their opinions, but you know, it doesn't matter. And. What is it about Romeo you like? Um, he understands me and what I've been through. You know, it's like we're connected because no one else knows what it feels like. Do you feel your connection is through trauma? Um, no, that's not what I said. It, it's a fresh start. You know, I actually don't want to talk about the past, so can we just move on, please? This is your session, Perry. We can focus on whatever you like. It just sounds like it might help to unpack this new development. I thought you were working from home today. Are we not having lunch together? Yeah, well, I don't feel like being here right now. My opinion clearly is of no value. Oh, don't be like that. All I said is I don't want us to go backwards. I thought you were going to be more understanding. Maybe make an effort with Lucas. I am trying. I say nothing when he treats this house like a hotel. I keep my mouth shut at the way he keeps his room or, or the wet towels on the floor. I can't keep my mouth shut when I see you being manipulated like this. <laughs> Please. I'm not being manipulated. Oh, look. You know he's not ill. Come on, you're not that naive. Maybe you could give him the benefit of the doubt for once. I think I have to err on the side of logic here. Now, given his past behaviour, it's hard to give Lucas the benefit of the doubt. No, do not, lawyer. I mean, this is what some were talking about, and you only see the bad in him. He blackmailed me. Do you know, Angel, yourself, James? What you did was really bad. It was out of order. Why don't you try making an effort, spending some time with him, really get to know him? Then we won't be in this situation. But Lucas! Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Why don't you try and make that effort right now? Me? Fine. There. You'll be picking her and her things up at 3.30 this afternoon. It'd be strange having her and the children living here, don't you think, Rafe? Rafe! I just think we're moving a bit fast, that's all. OK, but we have to. Sienna is still in love with Ethan, and if we give her a moment to think about it, we'll lose everything. What about Nadira? Well, that was an HR mistake. Camilla was unprofessional. But, I mean, you've got to admit, even that worked in our favour. Sienna chose you. And that's what we wanted. 
I don't know, Lily, this is all getting a bit complicated. Look, we knew going into this that there might be some collateral damage, but that's not on us. That's on her. Look, we... We don't have to do this. If you don't want to. No. No, I made you a promise and I... I plan on keeping it. Then stay in character. There can be no slip-ups. No mistakes. We're almost done. Come in, ready or not? <laughs> I wonder where they could be. Are they here? No. What about here? <laughs> okay, they're so good at this. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I'm not even going to ask. Uh, babysitting. Is that seriously what you heard? Yeah. Come on. Marley's dad's getting out of prison. I think Stop. he might want her back. Do you think he wants custody or something? I mean, what, what if Miley moves in with him and we never get to see her again? Scar! Miley's... just there. Oh, Miley, I am so sorry, Pet. Why didn't you find me? It was just such a good hiding place, that's all. Did you hear what Scott said, sweetheart, about your dad? Is he gonna take me away? Perry, you've been through something very traumatic, and it could be helpful to talk about it. Everything's fine. Like I said, I'm happy. OK. How are things with your friends? They're OK. I mean, it's hard for us to trust anyone after what happened, but I've got to believe they're telling the truth. It's difficult when none of you have had closure from what has happened. Every time I start to feel normal, something else comes up, you know, I get another reminder of it. Ah! Get away from him! You know, it's like Rain's still a part of us, still, still tormenting us. I mean, she's over everything. Barry, if you ever touch him again, I will kill you. I see you. You know, sometimes oh. I feel like she's a, like she's haunting me, trying to... And I love you. Trying to make me feel guilty. Perry, these girl. feelings are completely natural, girl. given the stress and trauma that you've been through. Stop it. Stop Perry, all of you Perry, I'm going to need you to breathe. No, I don't need to breathe. I'm fine. Each Perry, I'm fine. Let's just try and take a step back now, please. No, no, I said I'm fine. Yeah, it's open. Sienna. <clears throat> Go home. What are these? I uh, would have gone with flowers, but I know that Darren gets jealous. Right, what are you doing? Apologising and trying to explain. OK, well, I'm not interested. OK, but there are things that you don't know, Ethan, and I think if you would just listen, you would feel less upset. It doesn't matter, all right? What don't you get? The money doesn't matter. The plan doesn't matter, all right? I asked you to choose me, and you didn't. But as soon as I get that inheritance... Is that all you care about? All right, you don't get to have it both ways. I thought you loved me more than money, but you don't. It's not just about the money, Ethan. Yeah, it's about providing a better life for the twins, I know. OK, you've said it. But it's not just about that, is it? No, you want the money and the status. You want to be lady of the manor. Right, you are selfish, Sienna, and I am done with you. Ethan. And do you know what? You always get to the side. It's always about you, right? You chose him over me over and over again. I was just too stupid to realise you actually meant it. But this time, I get to the side. Take your inheritance and get out of my life. You practically bent me out for that money and what? Now that I have it, you're upset. If I'm selfish, Ethan, you are a hypocrite. OK, well, that's rich coming from you. Have you seen your track record? I've seen yours. You make me sick. Have a nice life, Ethan. I know I will. What was all that about? I don't know. 
I was just talking to the counsellor, thinking about us, how we got together and what we did. And I just couldn't stop thinking about Rain. She's always going to be such a big part of our relationship. All Rain ever cared about was image, not reality. I don't want to care what people think anymore. But it matters. Especially when the police are looking for the murderer and we have no idea who did it. Oi, oi! <laughs> Who's ready to get lit then? Oh, mate, I, I completely forgot. Oh, come on, man. Thought we was done with hiding away. Maybe we should have a quiet one. Nah. I don't want to sit in anymore. All I do is think. What good does that do for anyone? Prevented a lot of people from doing something stupid for one. Oi, hey, you two go ahead. I'm going to stay here with Perry. She had a rough day. I need to be here for her. Why did you have a rough day? I had some counselling, and all I could think about was rain, and I had some memories come back. Do you remember something? Yeah, it might actually help to talk about it. Yeah. You were with Romeo when rain died. Did you see something? Prince, you drunk, leave her alone. Nah, something's different. That's why she's freaking out. Yeah, let's just go somewhere and talk. Can you all just shut up? I said I don't want to talk about it. I'm sick of rain. Perry. Just leave me alone. Lucas. Oh, it's you. Come to accuse me of lying some more. Yeah, it's not the lie that's the problem. It's the reason behind it. You're clearly hiding something. It's none of your business. Except it is. We're supposed to be family. As damaged as we are. So whatever's going on with you definitely concerns me. Yeah, well, what if I don't want to talk about it? Well, the alternative is you keep lying to me, lying to your dad, and no one ever believes a word you say. I thought you were supposed to be going back to football today. Yeah. Well, I, I, I thought you liked football. Why do you even care? I care because I love your dad. And you're a part of him, so that means I love you too. I do give a damn about what happens to you. You're throwing away opportunities. Is it to get back at me? It's not about you. Then what is it about? I just don't want to go. That's another lie. You know, I'm just going to call your coach. Don't. Then tell the truth. It's because of Dylan. I don't want to go if he's there. He's been bullying me. And I'm just trying to avoid getting picked on. He's been doing what? So how was counselling? Terrible. I just kept thinking about the night Rain died. Felt like I was back there. Listen, that's understandable. It was traumatic. Mum, am I being ridiculous? Starting a new relationship with my dead girlfriend's brother when his girlfriend got murdered? Listen, Percy, you both need someone who understands what you lost. And if that's what you need, then who am I to call it ridiculous? Do you want to be with Romeo? It's the only time I feel like nothing else matters. Then be with him. Listen, if he keeps you sane in all the madness, then it must be a good thing. Listen, you are not going to feel like this forever. You got here? Bricks. Yes, Rafe, I packed bricks. <laughs> you shouldn't be disappointed. Yeah. Why is that? Well, you know what they say. Once you're married, it's all over. He came back. I was just about to text you. Same what? I'm sorry. Doesn't matter if you remembered anything. I should have been more supportive. Doesn't matter now, anyway. 
Doesn't change what happened. Do you still want this? I do. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, the counsellor was just pushing me to talk about rain. And then there was that video this morning. It was just a lot. But there is one thing I'm sure about. That's you. Are you having second thoughts now? No. no of course I want this. Just I'm not fully over everything Rain did to me yet. It's okay. Don't think I'm completely over Jules either. But we have each other, don't we? Do you want to stay the night? So, he didn't go in because he's getting bullied. Well, I'm not going to let this stand. Nobody picks on my son. Well, let's not be rash. We need to talk to the school. I ain't speaking to no school. You'll see. I'm doing this my way. Well, what does that mean? Stay! Romeo, what are you doing? Rain. No, it's it's me, Perry. Uh, Romeo, stop! You're hurting me. You did this. Romeo, it's all your fault. Romeo, stop it! Why have you made me like this? Romeo, 